pie chart of the chips. And uh, pretty in pink, Helen Chamberlain on 332. It's been 1-2 between Martin and Helen, but Ben Sonnert uh, up to third now. Has he been the story here? Well, I did like that pot that he took away uh, from David Lerner. He certainly got a lot of play in him. Helen Chamberlain with the twos here. <laughs> yes, she had the head in the semi-final and stuck in a huge water dash on it. 20,000 20, <laughs> She knows no fear. 20,000 on a pair of ducks. All folded around to the big blind. Will Anthony Jones stop her? Not with that. Okay. 9,000. Very strong play to raise from first position. I'm not quite sure why she's showing those. Well, she's showing them to Ben Sutter. He watched the tape. That was the hand she bluffed him. She had when she bluffed him in the semi-final. <laughs> I nearly smiled when I got them as well, and I thought I'd give it away. And Bank is laughing about it, but Barney, is that intimidating? Does he want to be reminded of when he got bluffed out by Helen Chamberlain? Is it a psycho psychological play there? Absolutely it is. And uh, I, I like that. I mean, I don't normally like showing hands, but she had a very good reason, the best of reasons for doing it there. Helen's big blind this hand. Pass. Pass. And uh, is Bank still thinking about it? Pass. Oh. Pass. And Donica folding from the button, that's unusual. Well, very good timing for Donica to fold on the button because Jones has woken up with a big hand in the small blind. Jeez, Helen's got a pretty nice hand too, but not against the Jacks. She's called the raise and will be head up for the flop here. Two way. Well, she does have position, but she's in a very, very bad shape against this hand, obviously. Cool. And if she, if she should happen, happen to flop a 10 or worse still a Jack, this could be painful for her. Whoa, this is very bad news <coughs> for Helen Chamberlain. The worst kind of flop. I mean, the only good news for Helen Chamberlain right now is that she's got 30, over twice as many chips as Anthony oh. Jones. A great trap check by Jones. <laughs> Chamberlain realizes she might have walked into something, but it's very, very hard now for her to put it down. He's gone all in. She's bet 30,000, he's gone all in. And Helen's head is in her hands here. Does she know what to do here, Barney? Well, I think she realizes she's more likely to be behind him in front. I mean, the raise is about 100,000. This is a key, key moment. Pass. And a great pass. That is a fantastic fold. I mean, Tony Jones, he set the trap, he sprung it. And looking at our river can, we can see what would have come. Ten or a jack on the river, no. Barney, that, that was super. I mean, Helen Chamberlain showing she's not just care, care, uh, people playing aggressive, but of defensive. Yes, if she had any weakness in her game, Jesse, I would have said it was uh, having trouble putting down hands when she had as much of the flop as she had there. But she showed a great strength there, Jesse. She has no idea how lucky, how good she was playing. Thinking, but Tony Jones. Let her get away. The blinds have just been raised now. Tournament director Liam Flood saying five and ten thousand. And is that going to get this game out of the muck? Well, I wouldn't say it was in the muck, Jesse, but certainly players like Lerner and O'Day really don't have time to hang about now. Pass. Lerner under the gun. Fifteen thousand in the pot. Well, for Sonnet, that's plenty. 
Friends, <laughs> nearly the crown jewels. Total. Pass. And uh, stuck in five reds there. Pass. It'll be 20,000 on Pass. Helen Chamberlain. Fold in the suited connectors. Oh, Jesse, this is the kind of moment vent has been waiting for. He's been waiting patiently for Sonnet. He's in a good position to come over the top, and he's now got the hand he knows is very, very likely to be dominating Sonnet's hand, and so it is. I think he said, I'm going to raise here. Three raise. Now it's been announced. How much? He's reaching for those greens. Oh, it's up in there. Mm. OD, very interested. Martin. 50,000 more. Oh, that's a big raise. 75 total. And this would be about Pass. a third of Bank's stack. Nice fold. He would have dominated here, Barney. Good move. Yes, he would. He said good move. He's not convinced. But <laughs> the boss <coughs> says yes, no, I had the cards. I have no bank. This is a really good player, and I've played him in, in some other tournaments. And a really good, aggressive player. Uh, Donnecker is an excellent player. And I, I've, I've uh, not seen the other players play too much. Looking at Martin Vence Manhattan. Red lines, of course. Potsy's won. This game going the way he wants it to. Steady like a heartbeat, Jesse. He's not, get, he's not getting involved too deeply at any time, but he's just starting to build a couple of decent pots later on. And it's going exactly according to the game plan that he <coughs> may very well have come into here with. Yeah, very similar to the way uh, Donico D played his final table uh, last year. Just uh, started out on top and never relinquished. And look at Helen Chamberlain's found that pair of tens, leading forward, showing the interest. Raise. Announced raise. Who can blame her? 30,000 more. Splash a uh, green. Quadruple a bet. And uh, Martin not Pass. interested. Fold it around here. Pass. Pass. Donico D in the small Pass. blind. <laughs> One left to get past. Jones on the big blind. <laughs> Look what he's got. Wow. Hardless, two red aces, and this time... And it's the second time he's come over the top of her all-in. That's going through her mind as well, but it's enough chips to make her pass. 200,000 he's put into the pot. She's the kind of player who might make a stand with this kind of hand, Jesse. Too early for that. <laughs> oh, this is a very tough decision. How much is that? Uh, I mean, if she does call Barney, she'll be praying for Ace King. 30 more. She wants the countdown. She wants to know how much it'll cost her. It won't cost her everything. About 160,000. It may be just enough. It's going to be a very, very close decision for her. He certainly played it like Ace King. I look at Anthony Jones' eyes. He had him fixed on Helen Chamberlain's chips. He wants them to go in. He's got pocket aces. What would you do? <laughs> Vince, <laughs> can I show me? No, no. no I'm <laughs> going to show him. <laughs> oh. Marty, what shall I do? <laughs> uh. And if he is listening, I know what he'd be saying. Mad Marty Wilson. Pass. And what a fold. I Thanks. mean, what a class. 
That's twice, Jesse. Twice she's made the right fold. You better have had two of them. <laughs> against the same player. Tony Jones teasing. He just showed one of the aces. And Helen Chamberlain, she's had to fold two hands. I mean, quality lay downs, Barney. Yep. Uh, he just had enough to make her pass. <laughs> Looking at the double worms, Tony Jones and Helen Chamberlain. And uh, Helen starting off on top. But look, now they meet. Tony Jones has really made some money. And uh, a lot of those hands, they've played against each other, haven't they? That's right. He lost a couple of events against Sonnet early on, but he's won against uh, against Helen a couple of times. Neither player have done anything wrong. Well, who would have thought that would have been the prime matchup? But Kojak here for Banked Sonnet, Race. who has found a little resistance of his own lately. Total. And uh, yeah, folded around to the small blind. <laughs> Begged is the one person that Helen has had no trouble with. Oh. Oh. And now she'll peel off a flop. Will that worry the Swede? I think uh, the Dane is going to be... Uh, Pass. Oh. So it's uh, 25000 a apiece plus 10 from the big blind. We're 60000 in the pot. Action will be on Helen who has been out-flopped here. Well, hopefully she's not going to try and do anything silly here. Okay. Bent noses in front. Helen watching. 25,000. Bent not being shy. That bet by Bent, well, he's got nearly half a stack in the pot right now. She's not biting. And uh, pot taken by Sonnert here. Yeah, he okay. has straight, ramrod straight. I think he showed the hand. We're going to see what would have happened. An ace, of course, is what Helen Chamberlain needed. She hasn't caught it. I don't fear anyone at the table. I think I'm the best player at the table, and uh, hopefully <coughs> the best player will win. I'm very confident. Um, I'm here to win. He is here to win. Very confident. That's part of his game. And uh, we saw him in the heat. We saw him in the semi. Never panics, Barney. Always out there trying to win pots. No, well, we know he's a high-stakes player. I was actually present at that big game uh, in Monte Carlo, him against Ram Veswani. And uh, he was very, very cool customer that night. They played for hours and then. And meanwhile, all his Swedish friends were playing 10, 10 grand turnover, one card in the corner. They weren't <laughs> even watching. The action wasn't big enough for them. That's true. <laughs> oh, gosh. But uh, this action, big enough for anybody. And it's got Pass. all the Sonnert's attention. Not Pass. to mention everybody else's. OD seems to have Pass. gone very quiet Brace. here. But now, Brace. you talk about getting a rash of playable hands. Well, come on, Helen. She deserves a bit of luck. She's uh, been very Ten unfortunate uh, of late. Deserves a good hand to stand up now. Pass. It's minimum raise here. 10 plus 10. And Lerner, he's pushing. He's found the sawmill. Oh. No, 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 no. Excuse me. He's called. <laughs> well, we saw him call with the queen nine suited and throw away when he hit second pair. Well... Uh, we are going to see fireworks here. Three spades on board. Top pair for David Lerner. 30,000. And uh, Helen has the second pair, plus the nut flush draw here, Barney. Yeah, she can't pass. Cool. Cool. 30,000 has been bet and called. Does Lerner know where he's at? Well, he called to hit. He hit top pair. Fortunately for him, he's in front, but as, as it happens, it's about a 50-50 coup here. Now Lerner's a decent favorite. Any queen, any ace, any Check. spade, good for Check. Helen. And now David Lerner has backed off. He's given the free card. It's the river coming. Is it a spade? It's black, but it's not. Lerner's ahead. All in. Well, that check on the turn might get him the call on the river. And how she reads it. 46,000 all in. 
She knows she might not be in front, but why would he check the turn if he had the king? That's what she's thinking. I bet 46,000. Talk about waiting for a ring of fire. I mean, uh, Chamberlain. This game is running ragged against her. I'm not quite sure why, why Lerner gave the free card on the turn. She's called. She finally wants to see a hand turned over, Barney. And uh, close but no cigar here. Big pot for David Lerner. Very unfortunate for Chamberlain because uh, she really had to play that all the way. But Lerner's been patient, deserved a bit of luck. Yeah, the man from Bradford. And he managed to get the bulk of his money in at the end when he couldn't lose. He can't just keep calling to hit, Jesse. He can't afford to do that. Now he's got enough chips to really play. Looking at that hand again, the flop was all spades. But Helen needed one more to make a flush, and in the end, pair of kings beating the pair of queens. An ace or a queen also would have been good enough to win her the pot. She was actually slight favorite on the flop, but when the chips went in at the end, of course, she couldn't win. Looking at the heart rate ranges, the king of cool, they call it. And uh, look at Donica O'D. He's an athlete. 715. 15,000. Pass. 10 deuce. No good. But Vent, he's uh, second position here. Ooh, that's a pretty little hand. It's fiddling with the greens. They're ten thousand apiece, but it's no bet. He's announced raise now. No bet till it goes over the line, but he's stuck in thirty thousand. Pass. Pass. And uh, well, this is an interesting situation. What do I put you on? How do I play it? Oh, the pot could be brewing between the two chopped chip stacks. This is the only person at the table that can really hurt Tony Jones. Could railbird him. With well, those percentages oh. there, well, he passes up. Well, look, Jones 50%. Well, that wasn't necessarily 50%. If he'd have shipped his chips in, Martin went could have called and Tony Jones at that juncture when he moved all in would be a huge favorite. <coughs> Jones could have well afford to peel off the flop but did not want to take on <coughs> Vent. And the 25,000 raise was enough. You have to admire the way Martin Vent, the Dane, is playing. Yeah, I think he'd be very disappointed that no one's been knocked out thus far. You know, he's maintained his chip lead. He's done very little wrong. He's willing people out the door. It's just not happening. Well, he's padded this chip lead, hasn't he? He's got about 60,000 more than where he started. Never been in danger. 
And uh, this Copenhagener in pink is grooving Pause. his way right now. Pause. I'm all in. I'm all in. All in from Ben Sonnert. That's a big raise. Look what I he's got. It. Hey, look what he's run into. Beck Sonnert! Beck Sonnert could be on the ropes here. Well, this is a horror story that makes Jaws look like sushi on a plate. I'm afraid. Good call, said Beck Sonnert. He's out. He's out chipped by Donico D. He could be our first out. Ben Sonnert was so much looking. Show me an ace king. Show me an ace queen and a big pair and over pair against his suited connectors on the low end. He's not dead yet, but he's drawing very, very thin. Oh, D showed courage to call quick. He could have been 50-50 at best. He's in a very dominating position. And Bank Sonnert is on the road to ruin here. He needs spades. He needs low cars. He's got to make something. That middle has not pin. helped him. No, no, not even a middle pin. He needs a six eight. He needs some kind of miracle here, doesn't he, Jesse? Bank Sonnert said he wouldn't be scared to be first out. And he is going to be first out. He's drawn dead. It's over. He was so impressive in the heats and semis. A full house on the river for Donica O.D. Timing all off for Bank Sonnert and classy show here. We know we'll be seeing a lot more of this Swede in the poker future. But as far as this poker million final goes, he has been eliminated in sixth. And looking at that hand one more time, Sonnert pushed. OD had but to call here, Roy, yeah. and uh, no miracles happen. Flop Turner River, the full house, tens full of sevens, has sent the Swede on a slow ship to San Francisco. Let's have a look at the state of the game. Martin Vent has really never relinquished his chip lead. He's popped it, but OD in the green, the Irishman, and who's to say what he can't do from here? Yeah, absolutely. He's got enough chips to play his normal game, which is to sit there and wait for a big hand. If he picks up another big hand against someone that's got a big chip stack, I think he'll be in fine, fine shape. Martin Vett is Manhattan. And what a skyline this is. Pretty as a Paris picture. He's just been solid, Roy, winning with rhythmic regularity. Yeah, Monopoly terms. He already had the row of hotels on Park Lane, didn't he, when he came and sat down with 335,000 chips. But now, what well, he's got his eyes on Mayfair. You know, coming into this final as the chip leader, it's so much pressure, but Vent has <coughs> responded so well already. And uh, 7 and 15 now. <laughs> Tony Jones, he's got the boots again 30, today. 30,000 in total. Just Plus. a little double of the bet. Helen straight to the garbage can. Would this not just be a fantastic story if this guy could pull this off? What do you think his mates are thinking right now? Go, Tony, go. Action on Lerner. And it's only 15,000 more to OD. He has not played apart from his big blind. Yeah, I like the size of the raise there. It's an inviting size for a raise, can get you a customer. If Donica decides to call and finds a queen high flop, well, he could do a big pile of chips in this. Donica has Tony Jones out chip. Not by that much. Go. The size of the raise has induced that call. And OD may have done Check. very well for himself not to flop a pair. He may never know how lucky he's just got. That's a very small bet, Jesse. Just 20,000 into a 60, 70,000 pot. There you go, 97,000 in there. He's bet 20,000 into a 77,000 pot. Oh, wow. Monica taking those chips out there. Is he just testing them? Is he just testing the reaction? Well. Some other race. players might fancy. Race. He's announced race. 60,000 in total. Oh, he's not burnt his fingers here. He's had them chopped off. He's making the, the move at the wrong time. He's drawn nearly dead. All in. Going all in. And the hammer's just come down. Oh, Donica looks at the flop. It's looking uglier than Wayne Rooney right now. What have I done? No outs, no hands. A pile of my chips in the middle. 
Well, this is just a wind-up. He's never called in this, but he can't possibly let on how weak he is or the fact he made a big move that's gone skyward. Anthony Jones has gone all in. Look at him explode. The heart pounding and pumping. And the key to this hand was the small raise pre-flop and the small bet on the turn. Tony Jones has come on an absolute furlong on racing terms. So much improved since we last saw him. I'll have to give it up. The line between Genius and Wiggler, so fine. Tony Jones had the boots. Donico Day sunk down there. Hasn't hurt him too bad, but it has helped Tony Jones something serious. He is in fine nick right now, Roy. That was a great play, and it wasn't foolish to move all in there on the turn. At the end of the day, he's only got one pair. He's not got three of a kind or two pair. He has only got one pair. He's got no idea his opponent's on. If you're going to put your chips in with the aces, that was the spot to do it. And I'm so impressed with the way he played that hand. And just look at that for a Manhattan. Yeah, not well fancied before this final began. Tony Jones came out of that gates fast. And it was like a racehorse there. He's been catching cards and moving his chips. But one of these five, of course, is going to take the million dollars. And you have to love the way OD is staying in touch, doing everything he has to do. Learn, on the other hand, is rapidly slipping out of touch with 82,000. Yeah, and that fold, pretty significant from David Lerner. If the blinds go through him, Barney, he'll be down to a swan song. Raise, 30,000 more, 50 total. OD, Pass. not putting in the full lot. Pass. Ace nine, and is he committed, Barney? That's I would all. say Donica is committed, yes. He raised all eight. Wow, Vance made the move. He's taken Donica off a hand before in a similar situation, but this time Donica's got the goods. with a knife. And Donica just talking this one out to himself, Barney. It's not easy. Yeah. You know, he thinks he might have to get lucky. But he's thinking if he puts this you down, he may not have yeah. enough chips to get back in touch, Jesse. Trying to find out what price he's getting on this. What range of hands does he put Martin on? It's the first time we spoke all night, and he's talking to himself, Jesse. Call. <laughs> he's called. What a great call this is. And Vent, the big sigh, he's not happy. Donica, Donica didn't is. know what a good call that was. He didn't actually know he was in front. He felt he had to make the call, and he loves what he sees. OD is all in, but leading. A five, though. Could easily be a split pot, Jesse. If I'd gone all in, you might have shown us away. The nine, it's very, very strong <laughs> lead for Donica. <clears throat> I mean, this pot is for big money. Oh, He's at the five! Oh, 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 and that is crushing that for the champion! Two cards to come. That is no help. And how cruel a game is poker. OD's getting ready to leave. Martin.